today is we are in Nyack, New York. So Nyack, New York is about 15 miles um, northwest of Manhattan. It's in New York State. Um, so it's basically what it is, is it's an old town, right? So it was incorporated in the 1880s and it has a lot of historic architecture, a lot of interesting things. It has a nice little downtown area. Um, and where it is located is it's, it's on the Hudson River across from Westchester County. So how you get here, um, there's the Tappan Zee Bridge. So this is a bridge that connects Westchester County to Rockland County, and they're both in New York. Um, here's the bridge. Okay, and that is the Hudson River. There's a sunken submarine there. That is the bridge there. So you take that to cross over. house so there's actually a famous case here um, where the um, the judge named this one house as legally haunted so created legislation in the US where the owner had to disclose to uh, future tenants or future if they were selling it future owners um, that the house was haunted so it's a little interesting uh, we're gonna go past it hopefully we don't see any kind of ghosts maybe we will um, but take a look at the park here now called Nyack Village Memorial Park. So there's a skate park, um, some green areas. And then there's a lot of areas here you can sit and hang out. Like I said, it's right on the Hudson River. If you look over there, you see the mountains. So that's kind of where the mountains start. Uh, it's kind of where the Appalachians start, really. Um, from the Hudson River all the way west to through Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and Ohio, really. This is the Hudson River. So you can take a boat out here. There's the Tappan Zee Bridge. Uh, Tappan Zee Bridge was rehabilitated in the last five years. It used to be much older. Uh, they completely redid it. And you have the mountains right here. So a little bit about the neighborhood. It has, um, it's pretty mixed. It has a Hasidic Jewish population. Um, it's mostly Caucasian. Um, it has a very kind of liberal, almost hippie vibe. So you'll see that when we go into the town, that's next. Um, so we're gonna go through the park a little bit here. Um, if you wanna come to, if you wanna come here, uh, there is, I would suggest a drive. Um, there's parking, there's, uh, there's a municipal lot here, or there's street parking. Um, but I would also suggest, um, you know, if you don't have a car, there's a bus that comes here. It's called the Hudson Link, and that connects uh, Rockland County to Westchester. And from Westchester, you take the Metro North, which is New York's commuter rail, not subway, commuter rail to the suburban areas, and that'll connect you. Um, it's probably easier to drive, but if you don't have a car, it's another option. So where we're going to go next is we're going to go into the town. We're going to look a little bit at the historic architecture. Um, and take a look at that. I mean, it really is beautiful. It's, 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 it's old, it's unique, it has character. Uh, if you like architecture and you like kind of um, an old Victorian style, this is really a town to see. Okay, so where we are now is we are on uh, the main, Main Street, basically, right? So it has a real Main Street USA kind of feel, right? So this is Broadway. We're gonna turn and go on Main Street. You have that real small town feel, just 15 miles away from New York City. I mean, from Manhattan, it's probably about a, from Uptown Manhattan, 30 minute ride from Midtown Manhattan, maybe 40, 45 minutes uh, by car. So um, it's definitely something interesting to see if you wanna get out of the city, you wanna get kind of a Hudson River, uh, small town feel, it's definitely something to see. I mean, I'm gonna take you down now.
So that's the Nyack Public Library. That is a landmark built in 1879. You can see here, there's just beautiful Victorian architecture everywhere you look. That goes down to the Hudson River. A lot of quirky little stores, right? So you'll see as we get onto Main Street, there's a lot of cool little stores, right? So there's ones for Christmas, there's ones uh, art stores, wine shops, dog stores, lots of bars, little restaurants. Pretty cool place to go. So some history about Nyack. Um, there has been a development here since uh, the late 1600s. So, you know, we're on the East Coast. It's the oldest part of the USA. Um, there has been some development here in some way since uh, pre-colonial times. Um, over time, I mean, it, the village wasn't technically incorporated to the 18, early 1880s. That's when it really started, right? So. There was ways to get here, there was boats, ferries, things of that nature, but it kind of remained pretty quiet. You know, a very small town feel until the Tappan Zee Bridge, which you saw earlier, was built in 1953, 1953, 1954, and that allowed a lot more people access, easy access to Rockland County, right? So this is the oldest, one of the oldest areas of Rockland County, so you get a lot of old buildings, a lot of old um, architecture, you get that real kind of small town feel. You go deeper in Rockland County, more west of where we are now, not on the Hudson River, you get a more suburban feel. Okay, so we're on Broadway now. We're about to cross over to, uh, to Main Street now. So it has that real Main Street USA vibe. So take a look.
So as you can see, there are a ton of mom and pop stores. You're not seeing Starbucks, you're not seeing Dunkin Donuts, you're not seeing Home Depot, nothing like that, because it has a really old vibe, right? Um, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's an amazing place to come on a weekend, you know, take your family, take a date. Um, there's a lot of cool things to see, just hang out, usually some kind of live music. It's amazing restaurants, you saw there's lots of pubs, bars, restaurants. Um, anything to kind of fit your palate right you go from super cheap to super expensive um, and you can really get that small town feel right here very close to new york city So that pretty much sums up the uh, main commercial strip. It goes down a little further. Uh, like I said, the street we started on, Broadway, um, that has a little more too. So, you know, I encourage when you come to explore that. Uh, I don't know if you noticed, there were some municipal parking lots. Probably the best place to park if you come on a Sunday, which that's I'm um, here on a Sunday afternoon, um, there is uh, free parking. So it's completely free. Um, if you come during the week, it's also quite cheap. I mean, it's like $3 an hour, $2 an hour, something like that. Um, so what I'm going to show you next is uh, the architecture. Then after that, stay put because I'm going to show you the haunted house. So stay put. Two seconds. Now the next thing I'm going to show you is some of the beautiful Victorian architecture on the side streets here. So like I said, the uh, area was built up in the 1870s and 1880s. So you get these amazingly beautiful victorian style um, homes uh, they all have like big fireplaces a lot of character um you know each one's very different you know you don't get any cookie cutter homes here so take a look So where we are now is on the corner of Franklin Street and 3rd Avenue or Haven Court. So if you go down these, you know, you just see amazing homes. It is a diverse population, right? So, I mean, you will see homeless a little bit, but that's anywhere nowadays, right? You will see a little homeless. Um, you see a lot of... Um, I wouldn't say young professionals, but you see a lot of like younger families in their 30s, 30s and 40s. Um, it's a pretty mixed, um, mixed, mixed demographic, right? You have Jewish, um, you have Catholic, you have a lot of Irish. Um, so it's it's a pretty mixed area, right? You'll see all kinds of people. Um, it's actually kind of beautiful. It's very diverse. Um, and it's just a nice area. It's a nice area to live. A lot of people want to live over here. It's um, it's it's pretty expensive area because you're you're on the Hudson River it's not as expensive as Westchester County which is on the other side um, but it is you know it is pretty expensive it is close to New York and you're getting that small town feel for a fraction of the price in New York so you know you are getting high price tags so take a look down here I mean it's just amazing you have these old big homes mixed in with old age trees 
and then you're right by the Hudson River. There's a Catholic school here and a uh, Catholic church. If you look at the roofs of all of the buildings, you can see they have big fire, I mean, big chimneys, which indicates they have big fireplaces. So, you know, imagine coming here, we're here in the summer, but imagine coming here in the winter time. I mean, it's beautiful. You smell the smell of the old fireplaces. Then you can go into town. And then here's the best part. If you want that city life, in 30, 40 minutes, you're in the center of Manhattan. So you really have the best of both worlds. I mean, you have the mountains just to the west of you. So if you like hiking, biking, nature, um, things of that nature, quiet, you have that. You have the city 34 minutes away, right? Then you have the Hudson River right here. So you can do, you know, water activities. And it's quiet. It's quiet, but it's not boring, if that makes sense. Right? It's, it's I mean... Every single house is different. Every single house has craft. You know, you don't get this in modern suburbia, which you would if you went further west in Rock, Rockland County. Like I said, this is the oldest part of Rockland County. Okay, so where we're gonna go next is we're going to the haunted house, right? So, like I mentioned, there's some actual judicial legislation that went on with this haunted house. So we're gonna check that out next. Okay, so right now we are on the corner of La Veta Place and North Broadway. So you can see there's still the cool Victorian buildings behind me, right? So these amazing homes. And we're at a dead end here. It actually ends at the Hudson River. So this is really um, the more um, east you go in Nyack, the older it gets, right? Because you're closer to the river, right? And the river was the main transportation hub in the 1800s. So what I'm going to show you next, it's called Juan Laveta Place. And the history about it is very interesting. There was a Supreme New York Supreme Court case where um, the first in history where it made it so that an owner if he or she believed that the property was haunted, must disclose that to the, um, to the next occupants. So um, it was that the house was actually listed on a Nyack ghost tour, right? So um, it was known to be haunted in the area. I mean, it, it was kind of like, I guess a joke, but, um, but no, it was real. I mean, the owner said that um, she would actually, her bed would shake at night. The poltergeist and the ghost in the house would wake up her daughter every night. Um, and they, I guess they became to have a kind of a nice relationship with the ghost. Um, because, you know, um, they didn't move, right? But it became a big thing because the new owner was nervous because they're like, okay, I'm buying a haunted house. Well, you know, what is this all about? You know, is this true? Right? And they felt like they were kind of duped. And this is when, uh, it's called the Ghostbuster case because this was in 1990, 1990, 1991. And this was when uh, Ghostbusters, the show, you know, the movie was really big, right? So, let me say it. Yeah, this is... So yeah, apparently a bunch of haunting stuff. Um, they would see the ghost, they'd see the poltergeist certain times. Um, they would, uh, the, the beds would move if they asked the ghost nicely to leave them alone when they wanted to sleep in. Apparently the ghost would do so. So it has kind of a quirky old history. Um, it's a beautiful home, um, but it has a whole history. And you know, they, they really looked into the, um, the history of the occupants and tried to see, you know, are, they, are these the spirits of the departed that lived here before? Because, you know, they say that ghosts stay in a place um, if there's unfinished business or something of that sort. So, 
This is the house here. So it looks out right on the Hudson River. I mean, it has a beautiful wraparound porch. Let's see here. Goes up. Do you see anything in the attic? Maybe when this is uh, published, uh, we'll see something in it. Um, like I said, I mean, it has a beautiful backyard. I don't know if the current owners, that's two, so that's across the street. I don't know if the current owners from the case in 1990 are still there. It may, may be different at this point, um, but it is a beautiful, beautiful old Victorian home. Do you see anything in the windows? I thought I heard something. So I don't want to trespass, but um, like I said, here's another beautiful view of the Hudson River. So it's just amazing. I mean, a couple, 30 minutes away from New York and here you are. I thought I heard something. I don't know if someone's messing with me, but I thought I heard like a ghost moaning. I don't know, <laughs> but I'm kind of freaked out. Anyways, just take a look at the block. Um, I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous. You have these old age trees, beautiful architecture, clean, nice neighborhood. That goes up to the mountains. Well, there you have it, guys. Um, I really encourage you to come see Nyack. It's a beautiful day trip from New York. You know, you come here um, in the afternoon, check out the town, you know, walk, admire the architecture, um, come see the haunted house at One Levita Place. Um, drive here. I mean, driving here is the easiest. Um, you could also take uh, the, the train and the bus, like I said, but driving's probably easiest. Um, it's a great place to come, you know, come for lunch, come for dinner, you know, have a drink. I guess, you know, there's some live music out there. Um, go to the park and uh, just enjoy it. Also too, if you wanna do, you know, the more outdoor, outdoorsy mountain stuff, you could hit two in one day if you want. Um, so if you plan it right, you can make a whole day of, of this area. So guys, um, you know, I, if you like this kind of content, and you haven't already make sure you so, uh, subscribe you know share and like this post uh, leave a comment or question below I try to answer all questions that I receive um, and you know if you've been here and you have any tips or tricks that I haven't hit on make sure you put that because we're building a community and everyone can learn from everybody uh, so until next time guys goodbye